Hey friends, I'm Mr. Queso, and welcome to the classroom. Have you ever wondered why trees grow up and the roots grow down? Maybe not. It's a weird thing to wonder, but I wondered it for a long time. Why in the world are these trees just growing up, 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 and up towards the sky? Now you might think that plants are just these lazy and inactive organisms, but actually they are active members of their environment. It's true, plants are constantly reacting to various stimuli that are affecting them, like light, gravity, touch, and various other things. We call these tropisms. Now there are a whole lot of tropisms out there, but one of my favorites is called Figma tropism. It's a plant's reaction to being touched. Check this out. Look at how this plant called Mimosa pudica reacts to someone touching it. How rad is that? So scientists are still learning why this happens. Some scientists think that it's a way to scare off predators. Think about it. If you were going about your day and you wanted to munch on some mimosa pudica and then you, right when you take a bite out of it, you see that it curls up like that, well, that'd be pretty scary. I don't really like to see my food move. So anyways, that's figma tropism, the response to touch. Another type of tropism is called gravitropism. Now, why don't you take a guess to see what that's a reaction to? You're right, it's gravity. The reason why the roots grow down is partially because plants respond to gravity. It's like they have this sense where they know they need to grow towards the center of the earth, down into the soil, and the gravity helps them with that. Gravitropism, a reaction or a sense to gravity. Now, arguably, the most important tropism is phototropism. Photo? <laughs> that sounds like photography. You're right. Photography means writing with light, essentially. Photography, light writing. And what the camera does is it captures the light and it turns it into the image. And phototropism is just like that, but it's reaction to light. And so plants love the light. Now, I've got a really cool example of phototropism. So here, let me show you. Check out this rad tree. It's a perfect example of phototropism. Now at one point in this tree's life, it fell over. And it could have called it quits right there. And believe me, many trees do. But not this tree. She's brave. And she grew once again towards the sun. And you can see examples of this all around. Take a look in and around your school or home and you'll see plants growing towards the light of the sun. All right, let's go back to the classroom. All right, friends, next time you're out in nature, pay attention to plants and how they are reacting to their environment. And if you're still curious, do some more research on some more of the wacky tropisms out there, like magnetotropism or electrotropism. How cool is that? All right, see you next time. And remember, be curious and ask questions. Woo! Woo! Mr. Casey's Classroom is a production of Lunchbox Film. Yay! <laughs>